In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a blank project. Select Project from the menu bar at the top of the screen and scroll down to New. You're given four options. Create a project from a list of documents or images, import from data files or web services, run the document conversion wizard, or create a blank project. A blank project is essentially a skeleton of a project. It's where you lay out all your project variables that can be populated later. A blank project is good if you have a limited number of cases or if you're going to be building your project on a case-by-case -case basis. If you already have a number of cases saved as documents or as a spreadsheet, it might be more useful for you to use one of the first two options. In this case, we're going to create a blank project. This is a variable definition dialog box. At the top, we have the variable name, the description, and the data type. And at the bottom, we have a blank box, which will contain all of the variables prior to being added to our project. A variable name can be 10 characters long, and that's essentially the name of the variable. A description can be much longer in terms of characters, and it's always a good idea to add a description. That way, if you come back to the project after a number of years, or if you have more than one person working on the project, you'll always know what that variable is referring to. Also, as it can contain more characters, if, for example, you're working on a survey, you can write as the variable name, question one, two, or three, and in the description, write out the full question. Lastly, you have to choose a data type for your variable, which you can choose from the drop-down menu. In this case, we're doing a project on elementary education. Our chosen variables are going to be the name of the student, the age, the child's school, and then an interview with the child. Let's get started building our first variable. This is the name of the student, so we will name this variable, quite simply, name. And in the description, we'll say name of the student. The data type we'll choose is a short string. You're asked to choose the maximum number of characters that the string can contain. You can do this by typing it directly in the field or using the up or down arrows. Once done, select Add. And we can see that our variable has been added to the box at the bottom of the screen. Let's create our second variable, age. And the description is age of the student. In this case, for the data type, we'll choose numeric. You're given the option of choosing between an integer or a floating point, which is a decimal number. We're going to choose integer. And then we select add. And it's been added to the list at the bottom of the screen. Let's go ahead and create our third variable, which is school. And this is the school that the child attends. In this case, we're going to choose a nominal or ordinal data type. You have to now describe the values of your data type. You can do this by selecting Edit and then typing in your values one per line. Delton, Eastwood, East Glen. Once you're done, select OK and then select Add. And our variable has been added to the list. Let's now create our last variable, which is the interview with the child. In this case, we're going to choose a document variable. Once done, select Add, and it's been added to the list as well. Before creating your project, you can reorder your variables to make sure that nothing's missing by using the arrow keys on the side of the dialog box. 
If nothing's missing and everything's in the order you like, select Create. You're asked to give your project a name and save it in a location of your choosing. I'm going to save it on the desktop for ease, and I'm going to name it Elementary Education. Your project has been created and we can start to add our cases. Please see the corresponding videos on adding cases, creating a codebook, and coding your document variables.